Okay, we're still on the scene on the N1 North, uh, 14th Avenue. Uh, crashing this morning with about 18 cars were piled up. Uh, now, the problem is that it takes a long time to move the trucks. It's not that long to move the cars. And this is where another problem in Africa, uh, accident scenes comes in, is that you have secondary crashes. There's a lot of control that goes into an accident scene. And I thought I'd just show it to you here. This traffic now goes back up to 10 kilometers. It, they had to close the highway back there, goes up to 10 kilometers. Now, when they get the okay to open it. Just make straight in front of the other control the traffic around. Okay. Okay, now, what's happening? Here come the Holly boys. Don't go my traffic. He can come around. He's trying to make it very much. You can hear the guys behind me. They try to keep the traffic moving. Okay, There's a lot of people, yeah? Okay. Okay. Here comes another one. Here it comes. Incident response in the summer. Now, the important thing what I want to get across here is that you, you, they have to now control the traffic. Yeah. See, they have to control the traffic and let it flow because if they understand that the 10 kilometers skew, the people are impatient. But their job is to stop secondary accidents. And also, to, you can see he's moving them on. It was getting to a double lane there. Now that's he worried about. Okay? Because you can see it's getting a double lane and that could be a problem for him. So he will control that now. I'm standing behind him because I don't want to be bumped. But there's a lot that goes and you can see the cones are up there there's control at the top there and there's control all the way down the bottom there this guy's controlling that's the jmpd who are now in charge of the senior and they still listen to the safety officers down there but they're trying to get the traffic moving so what you got to do when you're there is when you're right in the queues this is what's happening on an accident scene the guys are trying to help you get through it as fast as possible without endangering you or any other people working on the scene and also they are trying to keep their own lives out of danger and it's moving slow you now because it's a, 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 um, a 10 k backup and the guys have got good control yeah and on other scenes where it's a smaller one i've seen cars and they come past at 120 k's don't guys if you're in a traffic scene no when you're at the back there, it's frustrating. You don't know what's going on. It's impatient. You want to get there. Okay, now he's opening up this lane as well now, you see. Just ask me to move to the right. You see, he's asking him to move. Now he's opening up two lanes now. So they're using the right-hand emergency lane. And now he's even bringing some in here. See, they trying to do their best to get you on the road. Okay, watch out. And he's got to be very, very aware of everything. Now he will let them go in there, behind the truck. So I just want you to get an idea of what goes on when you're in the back of traffic. There's a lot of people up front trying to get you going. They're not trying to hold you up for, for any other reason that's safety and clear the road. So that's about it. Look, they're all over.